Josh has been my rock, seriously. We are Ashley and Josh, a couple that fell in love despite the odds. As you know, life can be so unexpected, but we vlog the good and the bad to document our journey. So come along as we figure things out together. Hello again from the back of the car. Um, it's Friday and me and Josh are on our way, as you can see, to Hunter's first little photo shoot. It's his newborn photo shoot. So we'll see how, that go how this goes. It's apparently it's supposed to last like two or three hours depending on how he sits and stuff like that. And um, I'm pretty excited. We may or may not take pictures with, with Hunter. I don't know, I feel a little insecure about how, how I look. So maybe Josh will take pictures with well, him. We can both take pictures and then, you know, if we don't like the pictures, we don't like the pictures. Yeah. I think we should have color coordinated a little bit better, but we were doing this last. Well, we didn't we didn't book this last minute, but I initially said that I didn't want to take pictures. And then I woke up this morning and was like, well, I might want to. So, of course my battery is about to die. Of course. <laughs> Anywho, I shaved my hair this morning, put some clothes on, and um yeah, we like Josh says, if we like the pictures, we'll keep them. If not, then we'll just stick with his solo newborn pictures but anywho we're almost at the establishment we only have 13 more minutes to go so we will check in when we get there Well, our photo shoots lasted like less than an hour. We were scheduled to be there for maybe two to three hours, but I guess um, Hunter was a really good baby. He, he sat, he uh, was asleep he was almost more, the year. I thought he was gonna get more outfits, like different swaddles and stuff. I did too. He was asleep the entire time. I guess it was the way that she swaddled him up. Um, I mean, he really did a, a good job. A Oh yeah, and then she had this um, this shusher thing. She said she got off of Amazon. That you know, is it called? It goes shh, shh. shh. <laughs> that was going on the entire time we were there, and I think that helped a lot too. And then we did some pictures with all three of us, and then some pictures with just Hunter and her, his dad, and Hunter and me. We'll see how they come out. She said she'll have them back to us in two two weeks. So. I'm pretty excited. Now I'm anxious. I want to see what the pictures look like because he looked freaking cute. He looked really cute. He was a good baby. Anywho, Josh is going to drop us back at the house and then he's going to get us some, some lunch. What do you want to eat? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, one more thing. When we pulled up, she, she came to the door. She didn't have a mask on. So I was like, Josh, do you want to ask her <laughs> to put a KN95 mask on or do you want me to do it? And Josh was like, you can do it. I'm like, really? <laughs> I got to be the bad guy? She was really nice about it, though. And she, she was like, well, yeah, I have a mask. Um, it's just not a KN95 mask. And I was like, you know, it's okay because we bought you one. And she was really compliant with that. So I'm grateful. We didn't have no issues. She was very nice. I'll leave her her information below in the description box just in case you're in this area and you want to try her out for your pictures um she was really good really efficient really fast super nice um, talkative 
when she could be. She made us feel really comfortable and she obviously made Hunter feel comfortable because she got her stuff done lickety split. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What's going on you guys? It is now Sunday, January 9th. And you have to excuse me. I'm probably going to be like this a lot because I am breastfeeding and Hunter is on the boob. <laughs> He's always on the boob. We tried doing like a schedule of every three hours feed him, but that didn't seem to work. He he lets us know all the time that you know, that's not working, mommy and daddy. You know, I'm hungry um, with his like. He does that his the sucking motion or if I'm holding him on my arm he's looking for the boob or when Josh is holding him <laughs> he tries to suckle on Josh which is freaking hilarious <laughs> to me and to Josh because if you ever seen a baby trying to suckle on their dad it's just a whole new level of comedy that you have never experienced before and Josh is just like babe I don't have the boob <laughs> I don't have the milk but anywho, yeah, he's feeding right now, um, and yeah, we're in a routine of uh, he might feed or he gets hungry. He'll let us know every hour that he wants some milk, and 10 minutes after he feeds, he'll go to the bathroom, and then I can put him down, and then he sleeps for about an hour, maybe less, sometimes a little bit more, and then that's our routine right now. So he is doing really well. Um, his umbilical cord actually came off yesterday uh, or the yeah the yeah the umbilical cord it came off yesterday which I was like oh my gosh is it too early for that to happen so of course I'm googling and I sent a message to his doctor on their um, on their website app and I was like um, I don't know if this is wrong or not but apparently um, some kids or some babies their umbilical cord um, drops off between 7 and 15 days and other babies their umbilical cord will drop off a little bit later like three weeks or something like that or some 30 days so that is um off and i don't have to worry about that anymore um he's just a good a good baby he hardly ever cries really unless he's hungry or unless he's wet um or if we give him a bath which we only give him a bath every couple days um if he's in the bath he absolutely hates it um you have to hold him so i already know like he this is a baby who needs to be held that's not his mama's fault his dad he's totally a daddy's boy and um josh holds him because josh doesn't like to see him cry but um he's such a good boy he doesn't give us any problems he likes to be around the dogs it seems like and the dogs finally are getting used to him they like to be around him as well um what else yeah he we're just doing really good i feel like this was the best decision that we we me and josh have made because he has brought so much joy to our lives and our family lives i just can't believe that our baby is here and we are parents like this is our baby this is our baby boy i i have the these feelings that I've never felt before, basically. And I'm just so happy he's here. Anywho, I just want to check in because we haven't checked in in a couple days. Josh is currently at the driving range because I had to give him some type of reward for being such a wonderful person. Like, he has been working his tail off um, since I have not been able to. I'm still in a lot of pain down there. It's almost Tuesday will be two weeks since I gave birth and I'm still in a lot of pain down there. Um, my medication um, is almost out so I'm kind of worried about that. How am I going to deal with the pain without any more medication because they're not trying to give me any more of uh, what they were prescribing me because it you know is a narcotic but like I'm telling them like I am in pain. <laughs> so um, tomorrow is Monday. He has his second pediatric appointment and then I'm going to call my doctor's office again to see what we can do or what they can um, suggest me take other than what they were pre previously subscribing me, excuse me, because it still kind of hurts for me to sit down. Um, certain positions is, yeah, oh my goodness, walking for long periods of time, it um, it's like pressure down there and things kind of swell up. Um, it's just been very difficult 
very very diff difficult for me but Josh has totally just really stepped up his game you guys like I love this man thank goodness that I was paired with such a great person um, he's really stepped up in ways of if I can't get up and get Hunter he does that there's no questions asked um, we do pump as well so if I can't breastfeed in the middle of the night we have bottles ready for him um, in, in his refrigerator um, he's cooking breakfast lunch dinner he's making sure that I'm okay he's making sure that Hunter is okay he's doing all the grocery shopping you guys Josh has been my rock seriously and um, I couldn't ask for anyone better than that so to get him out the house to give him his own little free time his alone time I definitely just told him to go to the driving range hit some balls and just chill out because he deserves it y'all he truly does um, but anyway um, I have a wonderful husband well fiance I have a wonderful wonderful fiance um, but anywho I just wanted to check in for a little bit to see how you guys are doing we haven't checked in a couple days um, like I said earlier Hunter has a pediatric appointment tomorrow so we'll see you at that appointment um, and uh, yeah yeah, we'll see you then. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to Monday. Me and Josh are at Hunter's second appointment. And of course, um, instead of sitting in the room where all the other patients are, we sit <laughs> outside of the room by the elevator because there's nobody virtually out here. We don't want that COVID, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, we have Hunter in his car seat. <laughs> all ready to go so we'll see how this goes he's been doing really good actually so i don't see um really any well, what's this what's this appointment for do you know i mean like they're just i think like it's gonna be like every week or so they keep checking and i'm trying to you know make sure everything keeps he keeps developing you know like spitting on the way everything looks like it's supposed to look at one week so they, I think, I, I believe they like. It's every week. I believe it's, it's every week to like certain, certain, maybe not, but I think it's like. I mean, every, I'll be out for more. I think it's every week to a certain amount of time, so it's a couple months maybe, and then from there, I'm sure it goes like you know every couple months come in, couple months come in. I'm okay with that. All right. Hey, baby. So, what's up, babe? Um, can you order him some more baby blankets? Yes, I can. For his three, when we start going out, he can I sure can. Mission today, order more baby blankets. So yeah, Hunter's appointment, his second appointment went really well. He has grown quite a bit. He is now seven pounds, 13 ounces. He has definitely passed his birth weight. Um, he's a hungry boy, like I told y'all before. We tried to do the three hour scheduling for his feedings, but he's not having that. Um, it's more like every hour <laughs> that he's searching for the boob, like, yo, feed me. And it has definitely shown today. The doctor said he looks really good. His his little thing thing down there looks really, it, it looks good. It's still a little swollen, but we can stop putting the petroleum jelly on it because it's virtually healed. What else, babe? Um, his belly button thing came off. It looks good. His belly button looks really so good. We can give him baths now. Yeah. He does have baby acne. I thought they were heat bumps, but the doctor said that it's like baby acne or whatever. Um, so we need to just make sure that we're we're wipe, diligent wipe, wipe about wiping, face. yeah, wiping his face and in his hair. Uh, I guess babies, some babies get like what's it called, crib, crib, uh, uh. something. Uh, like base bumps basically in their hairline or in their hair and on their face so yeah be really dil diligent about wiping his face off um, and yeah his next appointment isn't until two weeks he'll be a month old at that time I did ask a whole lot of questions one of my main questions was you know how long do you let the babies cry for because we're always being told you know let them cry right my mom let me cry 
and you know Josh is the the dad that just goes and picks him up right away and I was just like you know you need to let him sit there for a little bit well apparently Josh is right we cannot let him just cry he's too young for that uh, so whenever he is crying in his, in his bassinet or anything like that pick him up give him a little bit of reassurance that we're here for him and all of that and then you know feed him and tuck him away and all of that so the doctor saved him because I was all for you know just let him cry he'll be okay he'll be all right what else babe that's about it right he just looks good my son is our son excuse me our son our son is growing he's hungry though he was in the office crying like so, so daddy, feed me so daddy picked him up.